Analyst Jeff Hosford from Hosford Law Firm. Jeff, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Let's talk a little bit about enforcing laws along the Natchez Trace Parkway because it is a little different. Yeah, it's a little different. Um, most people don't realize that the Natchez Trace Parkway is federally owned property, which means if you receive a ticket on that property, then you actually go to federal court, uh, which the closest one around here would be Aberdeen, Mississippi. Now, does a federal court work similar to, say, if you get a ticket, say, out uh, on a Columbus or Starkville or West Point Street or out on the highway, and you generally you have to go to justice court, does it work the same way? It's set up a similar fashion. Obviously, uh, with federal courts, there's a little bit more structure, and the judges are appointed, obviously. Um, the federal courts, they have one in Aberdeen, they have one in Oxford. Uh, Greenwood's another one, they have one in Jackson. Uh, basically what happens is you, you would either pay the ticket or you do have an opportunity to fight the ticket just like you would in municipal court, which would be the Columbus City Court, or county court, or justice court, which would be the county courts like Lowndes County or Octibaha County. Uh, that's typically where tickets are heard. And people, obviously, who travel the trace uh, frequently do notice that the speed limits and some of the other rules are different along the trace. There are several different rules. Um, including the weapons, use of weapons or possession of weapons on the trace is different. Um, you need to be careful about whether or not you have signs on your car that make you a commercial car. Uh, commercial trucks are banned on the trace. Um, obviously, anything that occurs on the trace is always first option to brought into federal court, but the state then does have the option to pick it up should the feds not do so. All right, I think all can agree, you know, taking the trace can be a beautiful drive, but you do need to make sure that you are following the rules when you're out there. Definitely pretty. All right, Jeff, thanks so much. We'll see you back here next week. Thank you for having me.